welcome back to my youtube channel guys today i'll be doing oven roast oven roast fish for you so i'll be going through the process of preparing it so here i have three fish and they are snappers so i go ahead and clean them up but before you do that you add some vinegar to the water just a little bit love to wash our meat with vinegar And then I use squeeze some lemon in in the water. I normally use lime, but since I'm not in Jamaica <laughs> and I don't have any in my fridge, I'll be using lemon. So I clean up the fish a little bit, even though it is clean from the store. I still have to go ahead and clean it up. Take off any little excessive scale that might be there. So I go ahead and clean it up, just freshen up. And then I cut off the tail. Okay guys, so inside is very clean, and then I can use the lemon to help to clean it up more. I'm sure inside is very clean guys. After I've done that now, I'm sure with the water. And rinse it off again. Now we're going to move to our seasoning section. So I go ahead and put them on a napkin. Place them on a napkin. Then I pop dry. Take out the excessive water, guys. You just put about three slices or two on each side.
gonna go ahead and dry my hands and I'll be mixing all purpose seasoning. a little black pepper you don't have to but then I add some pimento seed as spice crush it You mix up the seasoning and then you add it to your fish on the inside and the outside as well. Let the seasoning go all the way up in the head. You go ahead and turn on your stove so you can do the stuff in for the fish. You go ahead and add, I'm using the basil avocado oil. I just go ahead and add two teaspoons of butter in your pot. Instead of oil, I'm using butter to steam my vegetable that I'll be used as stuffing. Wait until wait until the butter melt. I'll be adding 
my half carrot that I have diced, I've um, sliced with um, scallion, which you call green onion. Be adding it to the pot along with um, a piece of scotch bonnet pepper. I'll be adding my corn and onion. You can use half of um, onion cut up. I'll be adding my okra with thyme and one garlic dice. You add that to the pot as well. And then I'll be adding my greens, which is kale. So instead of I use kalaloo, I'll be using kale, kale as stuffing because I hardly can get kalaloo at this time. So you stir. In the seasoning the rest of season that you mix you just add it to it And this is what I'll be using as stuffing for the fish. So you let it cook before our steam. Let it steam. It will leave, I will leave it to steam for five minutes. This is what it looks like when it's finished. Steam and all, ready to stuff in the fish. So now, I take my butter, I take my butter, and I'm going to oil the paper, the baking paper. I'm going to put it on the baking paper before I file it. So oil the baking paper. Put a little oil, a little butter to it. Then I add my fish, guys. And then I go ahead and add the stuffing. Ensure all this stuff in her Just go ahead and add it to my 
the light that I'll be baking it in. Get a little bit of water and pour it in the container, just a little bit, not a lot. So this is how I will be putting it now in the oven. You turn on your oven, ensure it's hot and ready for the fish. So I'll be putting this one in right away. Close it up and you can go ahead and do the rest on your own. Guys, after you put the fish in the oven, you let it stay for half an hour. You can check on it if you want. Remember to let it stay for half an hour. You can check on it if you want or you can turn it if you want. Whichever one you choose. 